Like all things is, uh, you can take the boy out of Ireland, but you can never take Ireland out of the boy, you know. And, and and Irish people have a very, very proud tradition, you know. And it seems to come through, in, even through their kids, second, even third generation, you know, the desire to play for Ireland. And and all the kids here today, and all the young players here today, are here because they actually really want to pull on the green jersey. Obviously, have a critical eye today to, to have a look to see is there anyone who is that sort of a X factor which we can we could work with, um, and you know it's great to see that there is there's a fair amount of talent here today. Yeah, well, the Exiles was was always something that was um, was a target for Sean because he uh, he um, he's always wanted to play for for Ireland if he was good enough, and uh, but he originally played the game for fun as every kid should do, and uh, it just turned out that he had the skills. Uh, to be noticed by the exiles, he came along here to a day like this about three or four years ago. Uh, it wasn't as big as this, I have to say, it's moved on a lot since, uh, since the early days. But people like Mark and Peter Halsall and that uh, identified the talent and uh, gave him the opportunities to, uh, to go over to Ireland and play there. It's really big, it's one of the main days really, everybody's trying to show themselves. They want to prove themselves to the selectors, we've got Munster, Leinster, Ulster and Connacht selectors here, then there's the National XR selectors, so really big day for everybody. Very young age, been playing at Gloucester, um, gone up through the academies, the junior talent squads, the, now in the Silver Academy under 18s there, and I started XRs last year, and that just led, like, led me to bigger things really, went trips to Munster, played Connacht up in Manchester. Uh, then from there, got selected for the Island 32-man squad for the under-18s. I think the exile is massive importance. Um, it's given him the opportunity to be where, where he is today. And he was always told in the first game for the exiles that uh, he's only one performance away from playing international rugby, which is the same as all these guys here today. If they have a good game here today, you, you could be playing international rugby very soon afterwards. You know? So it's hugely important for the lads in this country. Today we've brought together the uh, four regions which we've um, uh, established over the last four years. Um, basically at age groups under 17, under 16, under 17, under 18, um, basically to screen the boys uh, for the, what eventually become our, fe our festival at Stowe where we'll select the boys through for the uh, Interpro uh, selections. The pathway starts at the regional level and then works up where we have this festival bringing together all the boys from those regions who selected out of those regions, eventually into a pathway uh, where they will get into the Interpro sides at uh, 18, 19 and, and, and 20s and then hopefully we hope the pathway will lead them through the international rugby environment. Uh, it's crucial to have volunteers involved and actually the atmosphere that's set up around the exiles is, you know, it really uh, pulls you know, uh, a great level of support from, you know, various skills bases, from people who are involved in the schools, involved in clubs, uh, parents that are just looking to support their own children and how they can carry on. The, the, the volunteer network is crucial because, you know, in terms of IRFU um, employment, we've got Mark Blair clearly, but, you know, the thing is growing and growing year upon year and you just couldn't do it all uh, one person, so, you know, he needs some help and we try to give him up. You know, the word gets out about the exiles and I think one of the things that's fantastic is we actually have a, a very good reputation for the system. It seemed to be very fair. Um, the spotters are out looking, uh, whether it be at uh, schools events or club events, and actually the lads then that are involved in the system as well are kind of our best salesmen more or less uh, at pulling talented players in because 
I mean, it's a bit of a cliche, but success breeds success, and it really does seem to be building off of the back of several sort of strategies, spotters, but also, you know, just that network of contacts, the volunteers and, as say, the lads themselves. We have huge, huge numbers of players here today, a lot of very talented young players, and uh, the object of all of this, of course, is to try and recruit some of these to bring over to our academies. And from what I've seen to here today, I'm satisfied that there, there are some very good young players in the pipeline. Thank you.